Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be bringing you guys along with me on how I incorporate black rice water into my weekly routine. And I'll be giving you guys a one month update into this challenge. So let's get right into it. In my previous video, I showed you guys step by step on how I created my black rice water, as well as how I created my black rice milk and how I incorporate that into my wash day, as well as a black rice. I know you guessed it, deep conditioner. I also show you guys my entire regimen for this challenge, as well as tips and things to keep in mind while using black rice. Before we get started into this video, I want to quickly say that I've missed you guys so much. This video honestly has been long awaited and I'm so glad that I'm back. So this is how my hair is looking like straight out of the shower, freshly cleansed, nicely deep conditioned, and we are going to get into my moisture routine. For those of you who have been following me for a while know that I love to use the LCO method to moisturize my hair and for this moisturizing session is no different. So because my hair is already wet, I don't really need to add the L, which is liquid. I just need my cream and my oil. And most importantly for this challenge, I need my black rice water. Now look at this black rice water. Like it looks good enough to drink. You know when you take your favorite beverage out of the fridge and you see those water droplets on the outside of the bottle and you know it's about to go down. Like that's how good it looks. But I said all that to say that I store my black rice water in the fridge to stop the fermenting stage. Mmm. So I ended up, as you guys saw, I put some rosemary and some peppermint in it, and it this smells good. <laughs> Black rice water does not stink, depending on how long you ferment the rice. The white rice does have a disgusting smell, so I've heard, but this doesn't smell at all. I mixed rosemary and peppermint in it, and it smells good. <laughs> it gives like a minty, fresh, kind of smell to it. So I'm actually gonna moisturize my hair now. I'm gonna spray the rice water first. And yes, I will be leaving this in my hair. Now, for this month of my challenge, this is something that I do every Monday and Wednesday, but it may change depending on how I'm feeling those days and if I have time and energy <laughs> to follow these exact steps. Now, I do wanna mention this was my first month. You know, I said that I was gonna do two months, so this is how I did things my first month. One technique that really stuck with me that I used during my three month healthy hair journey is sectioning. Sectioning worked wonders for me and it played a big role in my hair growth. If you wanna know more about how I part my hair and how I section my hair, you can find that information in my three month natural hair journey playlist that I'll link right above. As I said before, y'all know that the LCO method is the best method to moisturize my type of hair, type four hair. It leaves my hair moisturized for days, but I'm not gonna get too much into the benefits of the LCO method, but how I apply it to my hair. One major thing that I did in the beginning of my natural hair journey was learning how to moisturize my hair. Yes, back then it was mainly about the products, but right now it's more about technique. Technique is everything, I'm telling you guys. And when I mean technique, how I apply these products to my hair. The way that I moisturize my hair now is I of course find my favorite products that I love to use in that moment. Sometimes I'll make the mistake of not being so patient with my hair and I would just wanna moisturize it and just get it over and done with. But what I've come to find out is that for me to get a long lasting moisture and for my hair to stay moisturized for days, I have to work these products into my hair. I have to massage these products into my hair. So it's not just placing the product on top, but actually working it in. And how I do this is that I make sure 
that as soon as I put on the product in my hair, that the product has really sunk into my hair and my hair feels really smooth. It's not just about putting these products on, but it's about making sure that when you put it on, that it's nice and smooth and melted in before you move to your next step. Here's another way to think about it. You know when you're putting on lotion or shea butter or oil, whatever you put on your body, you don't just put it on. You know, you don't just tap it on your body and just go. No, you really massage it in so it can last for the rest of the day. And it's the same idea. This is all the black rice water that I use for today's moisturizing session and I have enough for the rest of the month. Hello guys, how is it going? We have made it to day 30. Before we continue, I do wanna let you guys know that I will be continuing this challenge for another month. I will, so this is gonna be a two month, I don't know if I said it already, but it's going to be a two month challenge. And we are one month down Wow, 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 wow. To be honest, it's been really good, but it has been, I'm not gonna say a lot. It's more than I'm used to. <laughs> it is more than I am used to. I'm used to leaving my hair alone for a week, but with this challenge, with this journey, I had to get into my hair about three times a week. Oh my gosh. It is not easy, but we, made it through one month we are 30 days in well 31 days in so today i'll be giving you guys or showing you guys my 30 day length check i'm gonna change into my shirt so you guys can see but before that i want to let you guys know a few things that i have experienced through this 30 days and what i have noticed what has changed so let's get into it so automatically the first change that i've noticed or the first difference that i've noticed is that my hair is so much softer and it feels so much sleeker my hair is super soft even in this stretched state it is nice and soft usually when i have my hair stretched is as if the moisture just disappears sometimes you know but with me adding this black rice water I've definitely seen a difference in the texture my hair is so soft and I stretched my hair two days ago two days ago and it's still giving soft I love that another thing that I have noticed is being aware of moisture and protein balance that is actually one thing i'm currently learning right now with hair that is one thing that i never really paid attention to in the beginning of my natural hair journey but i always thought you know my hair is kinky coily i have four type hair my hair is already strong i don't really i don't think i need or strong I don't think I need protein in my hair so I will always do moisture 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 anything hydrating was my thing and I was actually kind of scared because I've heard so many stories about people saying oh protein made my hair feel hard and brittle and this and that I'm like ah let me just stay away from that so what I have noticed is that yes I was neglecting that protein part of you know that balance that we need so once I got myself into this black rice water challenge I noticed that having protein in your hair or applying protein to your hair is just as important as moisturizing and keeping your hair hydrated like what I mentioned before with our hair being fragile we need these things we need protein in our hair so if you ever feel scared about trying protein the thing about it you're not supposed to overdo it that's what I know. You're not supposed to overdo it. So the same way that you moisturize your hair, you're supposed to add a little bit of that protein in. But with that being said, let's get into this length check. If we Let's see if we had any growth in the past 30 days. Like I said, I will be doing this for another month. So hopefully we see growth for that. 
but let's go. After doing this challenge, I can understand why people may feel as if doing their natural hair, it's a lot because man, y'all know I'm used to just touching my hair once a week, but three times, oh my God. That's a bit much, man. It's, it's much, okay? Ooh, y'all, also, I've been using this new detangling tool for the first time. This thing, y'all know um, a tangle teaser? This thing is wonderful. <laughs> if you have type four hair, you need to get this. I'll just say that now. You, you need, like, look at, just look at that. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm always so late to try different trends and stuff like that. So I'm late. I'm late to the party, okay? But that's all right. Let me give y'all a little ASMR. <laughs> okay. I think my hair has actually grown, though. What do y'all think? If anything, it looks fuller, right? It looks fuller, right? Or is it, is it just me? Is it just my eyes? Is it just my eyes? But at the same time, it's just been a month. It's just been a month. Wow. I am actually shocked and surprised. Like the top of my hair is usually like really short, but we are actually getting some length. It's starting to like, come over like this. I definitely see that. Wow. Wow. You can't tell me that I don't look good. You can't tell me that I don't look healthy. Okay, let's get into this lane check. <laughs> All right, let's go. Do we see growth? Do we see growth? So this is how my hair looks now, you guys. I am so pleased with my hair. I'm so pleased of, <laughs> of how it's doing, of where it's gonna go. I don't even know what to expect with my hair anymore. Like, any expectations I have is out the window. <sighs> we thank God. So, thank you guys so much for making it this far into the video. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on so you're notified every single time I post. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.